But I want to talk about what we can look forward to as children of God, with God as our Father. There's two things that Paul identifies. Number one, we look, we anticipate his glory. We anticipate his glory. Galatians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7 says this, and because you're his children, God sent the spirit of a son into our hearts, prompting us to call out, Abba, Father. Now you are no longer a slave, but you're God's own child. And since you're his child, God has also made you his heir. So get this. You ready? We go from being a slave to sin and fear to being a child of God to being an heir to his glory. That can only be done by a loving God, God the Father. That's how he sees you. See, there's more to this life, much more. There is an eternity that waits each and every one of us. And to spend eternity in glory with God, it requires something. It requires my committing my life completely to Jesus Christ. It requires making him my Lord, which means he's in control, and my Savior. He forgives me of all of my sin. And you have to do both in order for God to be right where he needs to be in your life. To anticipate his glory, you know what that means? That means that the things of the world, there's something better beyond what's going on right now. You don't like the heat wave that's coming this week? Just imagine. There's a bigger heat wave that you can avoid. (laughs) It's going to feel like the surface of the sun in Northeast Ohio this week, okay? I'm still golfing. But God has reserved a place for all who love him, for all who serve him, For all who call him Lord. And today, today, you you, you can have that same hope that this is not all there is. But there will be a a place where there's no pain, when there's no disease, where there's no fear, where there's no stress, where there is none of that. He will even go as far as wiping away every single tear that would fall from our eyes. That's his glory. And today, if you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, or maybe you did, but today you're not serving him like you should, today on this Father's Day, I would encourage you, make Jesus your Lord and your Savior today, and you can have that anticipation as well. It'd be the greatest Father's Day gift that could be received in this place, second only to the goodie bags that we have out on the counter. <laughs> 